Hello friends, welcome back. I am Farah Sheikh and in today's video we are going to learn how to save your Outlook attachments to your OneDrive and all the stuff we are going to do in Power Automate without writing any code or any complex VBA code. So let's go and see the things in action. If you'd like to know more about Power Automate, I have a playlist. You can feel free to check out those videos over there. And if you're watching this video for the first time and if you'd like to access the Power Automate, you can just simply go to the URL flow.microsoft.com or even you can go to your email account or office.com and you can click on these all apps icon. And once you click on all apps, you'll find the Power Automate over here. Before you go and reinvent the wheel, my friends, I would strongly recommend you to go and check the template gallery because you'll find a lot of templates of flows which are already readily available. You just need to click and that will automatically set up the flow for you. And now here we can see that there's already a template called save office 365 email attachments to OneDrive and business. This one is for the work and school account. So if you have that account, then only you can use this template. Now we can go and search for template called save attachments and we should get the list of all the connectors which are linked with the attachments now we would like to use this connector but just to show you in detail i'll be not using this connector in fact i can just simply click this connector and i can authenticate and i can just create my flow but we need to build the flow from the scratch so i can just simply go to create flow and over here I get these options. So we will be selecting automated cloud flow because this is a place when we wanted to automatically do the action when the email arrives. So that's a trigger when the email arrives. Remember triggers come first then the action. So we can give the flow name like save attachments and uh, we can call the connector when email arrives. So we have different connectors available over here. But now just to make a note, my friends, that you have to see this Office 365 Outlook and Outlook.com. So if you're using your personal account, then you have to use Outlook.com. And if you're using your organization or your school account, then in that case, you need to use Office 365 Outlook account. But to avoid any errors, I usually skip this one and I go and I search my connector and let's say Outlook and I can find all the connectors related to the Outlook. I can just select my Outlook.com and we have different triggers over here. Now we are interested in the trigger where it says when a new email arrives. So that is the trigger. Now the next is the action. So the action will be, will be calling OneDrive. So even now for the OneDrive, you have OneDrive for the business and the OneDrive. So this will be OneDrive personal. And what do we need to do when the email arrives? The thing is that we need to create the file because there is no place of copying the file because this copy file is to copy the file within the OneDrive. But we need to create the file because there is no file being created over there. So we can select create file. And if you don't have that folder, you can just simply go and give a folder name. So right now I don't have the folder name called email attachments. So I will say email attachments. And then what I need to do is I need to pass that dynamic content. Now, if I will search as attachments, you can see that I have an attachment name and the attachment content. So as soon as I select the attachment name, it will put it into a loop because one email will have multiple attachments. So that's why it is automatically putting it into the loop. Now, the most important thing is the content. Now you can see we got the option for the attachments of content. So we can just select this. So your flow is ready for the action. So just one thing, my friends, that if you come across saying that sign in, then in that case, you need to authenticate this connector. I have explained in my video detail that the connector you need to give an authentication, then only you will be able to connect 
these triggers and actions now the most important thing what i have to do make sure that i give my flow a nice name i'll say save attachments perfect and let's go and save this now i'll grab all the screens at one place so we can see everything in action what is happening so that would be great so i have the screen for my power automate i have my email account and i have my onedrive now just look at the onedrive area now this is an email which i have created and i'm going to send it to myself and i'll just click on send so once i click on send the mail has gone and it has arrived to my inbox and as you can see over here and voila here also the email attachment is added and we hope that email attachment is also added to that yes we have that report over here so coming back over here when you refresh the run you will see that this run has succeeded so you can just go and see that run in detail so if you need to go and edit your flow also you can just click over here and you can edit your flows like if you need to make your email unread you can do that there are endless possibilities so let us go and give one more try over here let us go and create a new mail again we are going to go and attach the picture and this time i'm going to add an image file let's go open it an image file and i'll be shooting it uh, to myself and let's go and send perfect so let's see what happens when we get this one okay we got the image and, and we should see the image yes so we have it over here perfect then we'll go back to our flow and we can see over here that it has ran successfully so that's how we save our email attachments from outlook to onedrive and this is a modern solution provided by microsoft using power automate and i would suggest to my friends that at least you should give a try once because once you try it and definitely going to love it and please feel free to share your experience on the below comment section and i'll be happy to hear that and i'll be seeing you soon in the next video and if you like the video make sure that you hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel till then take care happy learning bye